Hey guys, Fin Fatale here, and today I will be playing Silhouette. Now, you may be thinking, hasn't she already played that before? And you would be kind of correct. I played the demo, and since then, there has been a Steam release for this game, and it just came out with an update that tweaked the um, graphics a little bit and some of the playability, I think. And the storyline's been expanded since I've played it. So I'm, I've been really excited to try to get to see what all has been done with it. And here we go. This is where it gets to the part that I haven't played before. Morning, Dana. So what you got for me? Good grief, Jim. You look like you haven't slept in weeks. <laughs> kind of you to point that out. I'm used to working with Tracy on these types of cases, and she does half the lifting. Okay, most of the lifting. Sadly, her being on vacation means that I don't get to sleep much until she gets back. So, what have you got for me? Quite a lot, actually. Where should I start? How about with the victim? Well, that's the confusing part. We still don't have a clue who he is. The DNA samples we took from the comb and toothbrush are a match, but beyond that, we haven't been able to find much to go on. What? You can't find out manager told the boys and who he is? been living in the complex for just over 15 months. He paid rent in cash, like clockwork, a day early, too. The neighbors rarely saw him, though when they did, they said that he was always pleasant, but concise. No one really knew much about him. As for how he died, that's where things get a little more gruesome. At first glance, I would have said he starved to death, as he's quite obviously malnourished. Once I took the VR headset off, though, I discovered something really disturbing. Take a look at his eyes. Yeah, they're white. They're not gorgeous, because they don't got pupils. He's got two. Um, yep, he's got two. His eyelids are missing, Jim. They were cut off, and not with a knife, either. The edges are completely cauterized. Ugh. Are you saying you burnt them off? He used a cutting laser. It's not something you can just pick up at a local hardware store. It's hospital equipment. I'm pretty sure he died of fright. Seriously? Well, the lack of food would have already put a lot of stress on his heart, but basically, yes. There's clear evidence that the cause of death was due to cardiac arrest. Whatever he was being forced to watch must have been pretty terrible. Do we have any idea what he was watching? IT's analyzing the headset right now, but all they could tell me immediately was that the signal was being transmitted to the headset wirelessly. Most likely via an encrypted signal, so it's going to take them a while to figure out where it originated from. I thought the meds I found in the apartment belonged to the victim. <laughs> Unfortunately, they didn't. We contacted the manufacturer, Quinlan Pharmaceutical, and they traced the prescription to one... William Leon Brennan, and gave us his address. Perfect. Guess that's where I'm headed next. I'm a step ahead of you, actually. Swat kicked in his door 30 minutes ago, and the place was spotless. Not because he was a clean freak, the place was chemically wiped down. By professionals. They found this on the kitchen counter. <laughs> she just a tossed it. Hair. He's toying with us. What don't you have to tell me about the bottle of blood? Actually, the soap bottle is the first piece of evidence that leads somewhere definitively. We ran the DNA against our database, and it spat out a name in the first five minutes. Victor Krengel. He's known to police all over the Krendel. country, but they haven't ever been able to convict him of anything. He's been accused of aggravated assault, battery, disorderly conduct, and seven counts of rape. His father's some hotshot criminal lawyer with Meyer, Franklin, and Bergenstein, and somehow always manages to get him off the hook through legal loopholes. <laughs> Sounds like a real sweetheart. Mm, you're telling me. The local police are probably banging on his front door right now, so the captain wants you to head out to his last known place of employment. Which is? The Texaco station, just off I-6. Alright, farm country. Okay, let's see. Oh. How did I... N That's all spilled out. Hmm. Wonder how that happened. Somebody's Hello? gonna try. Somebody's Hello? gonna try to set me on fire. I'm looking for Victor Krangle. Krangle. Where wow. are you, Krangle? This place sure is deserted. It really is deserted. <laughs> okay. Someone left their hat behind. 
Yeah. Somebody did leave it. Why the hell me. is there a fence rail in here? <laughs> That's a fence rail? I thought it was a propeller. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Nothing else. Oh, let me check over here. Nothing else is lit up in here. Let's go around back. Hmm. Trash. Hello. Is there a body bag in here? What's that? I think that's. I think that's still just a bag. Yeah, that's just a bag. I like how there's the run toggle. I haven't really needed it till now though. This I is lit what up. Happened to the fence here. I don't know, but half of it's inside. Tractor. Phone. Uh what? I didn't Oh that's that. That, that's that. <laughs> Where did that vehicle go? Where's the owner of this you? vehicle? That's an Atoyo 5000 what? GT. What is going on? It's one hell on? of a fine car. Guess daddy paid for this too. Ice box. Oh, it's locked. Can I open it? I wonder... I saw something that I could jump. I wonder if I can go back here. I can! Oh! I is... don't think I need to wander through the cornfield unless I find something to point me in this direction. Something pointed me in this direction, though. It was the... Oh, poo. Where was... Where did that come from? Right here. Oh. Let's see. Not... Interesting. Yeah. It looks like something was dragged through the dirt here. Yep. Oh. I thought it was like a small vehicle. Not drug. But that can make sense too. Now can I go over there? I don't think I need to wander through the cornfield unless I find something to point me in this direction. Okay. I found something. But... Doesn't seem like it wants me to go that way yet, so there must be more in here. Oh my goodness. Come on, go through the door. There we go. <laughs> There's the surveillance camera. Looks like they've got a security camera. That'll help. Except it doesn't, because the tape's gone. Mm. The videotape's missing. There's always something near the trash. Hmm. What well, looks out of place here? Maybe there's something under all these bags. Or maybe I'm just digging through trash. I wonder if this is the missing security ah, team. That's what that is. Well, I'm sure gonna take it over. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's the guy with the hat. I'm guessing that's the guy I'm looking for. Is it Kringle? I think. He's got a ponytail. <laughs> Who the hell is that? The person with the fence post? With a small waist. Oh, oh. Jesus. Okay. He's dragging him. With the white hair. <laughs> He's about to do a straight split. <laughs> okay, so... That's why the post was there. Guess we know where Kringle disappeared to now. More yeah. Or less, anyway. Why would you be that sloppy and leave? Now the I know it was dragged through the dirt. Tape in it. I should follow the trail. Trash can. Finally, you think I should? That's nice. 
I do want to point out that it was much easier to find out, like, the clues and everything this time. I mean, yes, they were colored, but it really did make it easier. And kind of more enjoyable, because I could pay more attention to the storyline. I hope I'm not just, like, going out in the middle of nowhere. This is kind of making me a little freaked out. Just a little bit. Because there's no real sense of direction. It's weird because I have the illusion that I'm getting closer, but I'm actually not. Pooh, I feel so lost right now. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure it was back this way. Yeah. There's a lot of birds right here. And I know they circle where dead bodies are at. Oh. Oh. Please tell me that's not a person. That's a person because that's blood. Oh. Uh, I don't think I'm going to sleep for a week after seeing this. Convicted uh, or not, the doctor obviously wasn't going to let Colonel hurt anyone else. I can't say that I agree oh. with his methods, but it certainly makes it hard for me to hate the guy. Uh. <laughs> That's just nasty. Oh, a hundred mid something mountain drive. Looks like there's an address carved into his chest. Yep. Certainly is leaving a trail of clues for me to follow. Suppose he could be trying to lead me astray, but Ugh. I sure as hell can't ignore something as obvious as this. That's weird. Why the hell do you string him up like a scarecrow? <laughs> I feel like well, I feel like I need to cover uh, him up with something. I guess we have to call the coroner. But like Dana's modesty. gonna hate me for bringing her another body so soon. Especially one with. Doesn't yeah. look like our killer's gonna be finished his spree anytime soon either. <laughs> to be continued what that's it uh, I want to know more I want to know more <laughs> tag on it so far I'm liking the storyline it's very out there but I feel like it's going somewhere like it's not just so random that I feel like it's leading to nothingness. Like, I actually feel like all the dots will connect at some point. And I'm really excited to see how they connect because, I don't know. I just think it's cool when you take a lot of random things and at one point you finally see the story slowly start to come together until you understand it all. And that's the moment that I'm really looking forward to in this game. So I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye to see when more updates come out and when more additions come out because I'm intrigued. I really am. Right now this game's on Steam for under five bucks. It seems kind of short to be that, but then again, if you consider the fact that once you buy it, it includes all of the other story updates, I think it's definitely worth it because I could see this storyline being a long one. And the fact that it's broken up, like the plot is broken up based on when the game developer is able to get it done, I think it actually kind of helps build anticipation for what comes next. And I actually kind of like that. So I definitely think it's worth a look at, maybe worth a buy. I'll leave that up to you, but I liked it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and happy gaming. Bye-bye. I want to look at this. It's not useful. Well, maybe it is. I think I'm getting desperate. Yes, I am getting desperate because I can't find anything. <laughs>